Yo, but look, man, I had, a, I had one of our old customers call in, okay? And what he wanted to do is he wants to add three new components to his setup, okay? So I'm going to show you how you're going to implement this deal. All right, it's real straightforward. So this customer needs three things. One thing's technical, one thing's training related, okay? And the other thing I think is done, it's just a matter of you testing it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to show you the three requests that he made. All right, so, so this customer needs three things. Basically, he uses an accounting system called Just Food. ERP, which is a, it's a version of Microsoft Navision. Okay? okay, so he called in and he needs some API changes. Now you're gonna say, okay, this is technical, right? So this is something technical you don't understand. Um, basically, I've already told Ignacio, the API developer here, mm -hmm. to take care of this, okay? What, what your responsibility is to communicate with Ignacio, make sure that these changes get done, okay? These changes, they break down to something simple. Once they're complete, the payments and the invoices have to export from our system into Navision. If it exports successfully, these changes are complete. If it fails, it's still broken, okay? Okay, so I, I just have to make sure that the payment and the images export? Yeah, so you have to call the customer. When he says, when he gives you the green light, hey, these API changes are done, you call the customer and basically do a test, and if it works, you're done. Okay. Ignacio is already communicating with the technical people to make sure that the API changes in the technical way are completed the right way. Your responsibility is to make sure that it exports successfully. Okay. Clear? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Point number two, they need us to print the lot numbers on the report on the app. Okay, on which report? The inventory report. Inventory report. Yeah, so you know we have uh, reports, inventory, viewprint mm -hmm. inventory. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's got the item, and right now it just says the on hand on the truck. Item on hand on truck, item on hand on truck. Okay. Okay, so what we need to do is print on each of those items the lot number and the respective on hand. Lot number on hand, lot number on hand. Okay. Make sense? Item, lot number on hand. Yes. Same item, lot number on There hand. you go. Okay. Why? Because they need to be able to see how much of each lot number they have on the truck. Yeah, it helps sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, straightforward? Yep. Questions? Oh. Okay, so this may or may not be done right now because I think I already put it in the queue a while back to get finished. Mm -hmm. But what you want to do is double check and make sure that it's either done or if it's not done, what you want to do is um, you want to put it in the queue for the development team. Okay. So they can get it done. This is like an hour's worth of work. It's no big deal. Okay. Okay, question? No. Okay. Point number three is probably the simplest point. Basically, they want access to our report engine. And it's not really a report engine, it's more of like a series of reports. So we do reports for um, analysis of sales that show the gross profit. Okay, so in distribution, you have your sales, okay. your costs, your credits, and then you have a gross profit at the end. Okay, so we do this for invoices, for salesmen, for categories, um, for basically every transactional data that we hold in our database, okay? okay? What he needs is he needs us to update the software, enable the report tool, and teach him how to use it. Okay, so this is done already. You have to do nothing here. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that you call him and you train him after you do the update. Okay? okay. So so this, this, this should be done by like Wednesday. So let's say Wednesday. Today is Monday, right? So two days. Mm -hmm. This is probably done already. You just have to test it and make sure it's good. And then this is whenever you want to finish it, you can do it. So let's say today. Okay? Real easy. Yep. Okay? Now just make sure you put this in your in your queue, in your projects to do. Mm -hmm. You understand the points? Yep. Okay. And then follow up. If you have any questions, ask me. For your point of contact for this point is Ignacio. Ignacio. For this one, Nauda, our Android developer. And for this one's just yourself, you're gonna do this part. Yeah, okay. Okay? So that's how you get a project. I just outlined it for you. Now you go take care of it and knock it out. Excellent. All right.